Yokri, Sekobolo, and Obotobo, one and two, are witnesses and beneficiaries of fulfilled CSR obligations by oil majors. If you have not gotten your alert, it means that you have not feed your things correctly. Share not the play while you, you must get your money today. Government are share, cause the happiness to dance. They give us money. The money we share give me, I go take help myself, help my children. In share, we believe in being gender friendly. Our GMOU, which is uh, the agreement we have with our communities, we have a 15% set aside for women development within the communities where we are. So what you are seeing here is what they have used their 15% money to do. Government has been supportive. They were part of uh, our discussion with the communities in agreeing to the funding. And uh, they've been there every time we had issues. In this same vein, natives and residents of communities playing host to Seplat Oil in Delta are happy for what they consider to be the most important CSR obligation. The just completed Seplat quiz competition has left many in a state of delight. I want to say a very big thank you to the Delta State Government because they are promoting what should be promoted. Since they have allowed Teplat to do this kind of educational scheme in Delta State, that means they are promoting good things and that means good things will continue to come out from Delta State. This program has been very useful in encouraging students to study and also helping schools to and you know one of them remarked that some of these people will end up becoming employees of the company and it's a way of building people for the tomorrow workforce and that's a good thing a good number of the oil companies are contributing their quota to the development of their various host communities be it in the area of human capital development or construction of physical infrastructure on behalf of SIPCO and our partners in Delta State Government, I congratulate you. Congratulations. I'm a graduate, but I've not got an opportunity to have a job. But through this knowledge they acquired here, I can be able to establish myself and train people under me too. I want to appreciate our dear Governor, His Excellency Dr. Ifanya Tokoa, and also the company and the management for giving me the opportunity to be here. We are trying because this tool is one of the best roads you can see in Utabubi. I wish they could do this in my community, I'd be happy. They did a marvelous job. The two roads they did, both this one and the one, that of uh, this thing, it's marvelous. To ensure quality project delivery, the Ministry of Oil and Gas subsequently embarks on inspection visits to various communities where CSR projects are cited to ascertain the quality of the jobs being delivered. SPDC and our JV partners, they've done noble. The quality of the job we've seen is of global standard. Appreciation is application for more. So we're asking for other oil and gas companies that are operating within the state. We want them to come and assist us. When you went around, you saw a structure that was delivered by Shell. These are evidence to show that there is a good relationship between the government and the oil companies. His Excellency, the Governor's passion for service delivery is what uh, prompted him to approve the creation of this department, Monitoring and Compliance. And so far, our routine monitoring of projects, especially CSR projects, have um, in a very, very large extent ensured that the goods are delivered to deltans, especially host communities where these oil and gas products are mined from. To demonstrate government seriousness that it means well for the people, government has made it mandatory that EIA, that is Environmental Impact Assessments, be carried out before any work is done in an event of any mishap such as oil spillage in the cause of any other hazardous activity during oil exploration, oil companies are all made to own up to their responsibility, clean up the environment while coming to the aid of the people by providing palliative to cushion the effect. His Excellency, Senator Dr. Ifan Yoko, the Governor of Delta State, is a listening governor. This is not the first time we've done it. We've always done it. 
when there are fire disasters anywhere during the flood disasters you see the governor through the instrumentality of the state emergency management agency come to the rescue of the people and we try to ameliorate their situation first we must appreciate his excellency the governor of delta state for his hands of fellowship at a time where the price of goose uh, in a very high price, a very tempting period. His Excellency has decided to come to the head of our communities, most of our communities who are affected by spill. We are indeed grateful. Evidently, Governor Koa's vision of building a stronger Delta is firmly on course. The creeks of Delta in the last six years have remained peaceful, with oil companies working in synergy with the Delta state government and host communities. The people now enjoy the... And the hands of red. And we took into cognizance the nitty-gritties which you've actually mentioned in your question. Chapter 3 of the PIA Act has to do with ensuring sustainable prosperity in the various host communities that we also intend to uphold. Taking into recognition that the 3% operating cost that is accrued to the host community can only come if the oil companies are in proper operations. Notwithstanding the 75% meant for projects in host communities, that can also come through coexistence. And the 20% for uh, reserve, while 5% for administrative charge. We intend to do continuous and periodic monitoring to ensure that this coexistence is maintained and the benefits to the grassroots and the citizens of Delta State. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 081211192133 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. Better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do ye better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. At TVC News, wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking news. Me and you, let's get to Ghana. Hey! Right, jump ah! This is Ghana. You've come here to seek for greener pastures. Make it your worthwhile. Any guinea fowl you see, see, guinea. Guinea fowl, I don't know what guinea. Me. It's I just the name of the fowl. So, Ghana Jalap, what is it? Is it Nigerian beans? What? Have we made before? No. Jasper! Help me! My name is Nan, glory of God. I'm the weather. This is my workshop. I start the business year 2000 with more workshop and two staff. When I meet Adron six years ago, I saw my life change. Two staff come to 20 staff. I be landlord from away before. When Adron gave me contract, I entered their estate. I say, wow, lucky in Shimawa. The following day, I take my wife to their estate. She fall in love. That's why we leave my house from away as landlord. Come to tenant in Treasure Park Phase 1, Shimawa. I come meet the GMD of Adron Home. Now so I begin to do all their iron work for all their estates. Aton, Shagam, Ibejuleki, Abekuta, Ibadon, Imota, Shimawa. I gather money for this work to build my own house for Adron Estate, Treasure Park, Peswan, Shimawa. I give my family better environment to stay. Adron, I thank you. Adron Homes, making the incredible affordable.
the news tonight, Abdul Rashid Baina sentenced to eight years in prison. Troops repel a swap attack on military base in Brunei as bandits kill six abduct many in Zamfara village. Outside Nigeria, Sudanese security forces fire tear gas at protesters taking part in pro-democracy demonstrations in Kato. In sports tonight, Super Eagles coach Gennett Rohr invites a Yumba goalkeeper John Noble as replacement for Francis Ozoha. We're staying in Abuja tonight where the former chairman of the defunct pension reformed task team, Abdul Rashid Mena, will be spending his first night in jail. Well, this is coming after a federal high court in Abuja found him guilty of money laundry and other charges preferred against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Justice Okun Abang sentenced Mr. Mena to 61 years imprisonment but to run concurrently for eight years beginning from 25th August. October 2019. TVC News Judiciary Correspondent Celestina Area reports. The court also found Mr. Mena guilty of concerning his true identity as signatory to accounts opening UBA and Fidelity Bank by using the identity of his family members without their knowledge. These accounts had cash deposits of 300 million naira, 500 million naira, and 1.5 billion naira. The court held that Mr. Mena stole money is meant from pensioners as he could not prove where he got same from. Trial judge Justice Okun Abang also held that through Mr. Mena's service as a civil servant, his salary and a monument will not amount to the monies in these accounts. The court further submitted that the prosecution produced essential evidence through witnesses called to prove beyond reasonable doubt that Mr. Mena is also guilty of money laundry in the sum of 171 million naira. The court also found Mr. Mina guilty and convicted for the purchase of a property in Abuja paid in cash in sum of 1.4 million dollars, which is above the statutory threshold of 5 million naira and without passing through a financial institution is a criminal offence. In his allocution statement, Mr. Mina apologized to the court for his actions, emphasizing his health is deteriorating as doctors have discovered three tumors in his body, which are cancerous and need to be operated urgently. The court sentenced him to eight years in prison with effect from 25th October 2019. The correctional center should take care of the convict's health. Anytime he's taken to the hospital, it should be under tight security. He stated that Mr. Mina, through the assistance,